Hi, so I'm Kevin Ying, and I'm Anthony Diego, and we built an IoT home security system using a PIC32 and a couple of Arduino nanos. Okay, so our overall system is a wireless RF ID mesh network, uh, and so we can kind of point it out here. So uh, this is our PIC32 uh, base hub system. It talks over UART to this Arduino Uno. This Arduino Uno then sends out messages to the rest of the devices on our network, which consists of three uh, different Arduino Nano setups along with their own radios for communication. Okay, what's this one? So this one is our door controlling uh, node. So it controls this door, um, servo, and then it can tell when it's closed with a magnetic grid switch. Okay. Um, and this one has a Adafruit light sensor on it, lux sensor. Okay. Um, and this one has a temperature sensor. So each of these is entirely independent. Um, any of them can be plugged or unplugged, um, and that will be reflected on the hub. Okay, right now it's, it says they're all online. For a moment, one of them went weak. Yeah, yeah. so okay. we, yeah. Uh, some of the packets do get dropped. Um, it just means okay, but that's okay. Right. Because it's being repeated fairly often. Right? Yes, yes. All right, so, so go to temperature measuring mode now. So currently it's approximately 70 degrees, and now if I um, blast this temperature sensor, you can see it's increasing pretty quickly. So on our screen now, you can see our current temp went up to 101 from 70 degrees. That's kind of brutal, and now it's coming back down again quickly, of course. Right. Okay. And now the next mode. Is our light mode. Okay. Um, so currently we have a relatively low light level on here. Oops, sorry. Okay. It's about 44. Okay. Uh, hit it with some light. Sure. So now we've turned on a lamp, and it's several times brighter. Now. So it's up to uh, 436 or so. Right. Okay. Turn it off. You see it drops back down. Back down to 30 or five or so in this in this dim fluorescent light in here. Yep. Okay. Yep. And now the door sensor. So door is open. Door is All right, now we're gonna you're gonna put the sensor next to the the door, and now it is closed. Okay. All right. So now there's a couple push buttons that sort of operate. Um, do you want me to open mode? I guess. No, yeah. Just yeah. To close. Good. Closed. Okay. So now it's closing. So this motor will now spin in closed mode, hopefully. Uh, all the way until it will reach up with this again. So this would simulate like a door being closed to its full extent. Okay. So then it stops once it reaches it. <laughs> okay. So you could have done a little, a little more elegant uh, <laughs> for the door. <laughs> for the door. Yeah. Mechanical system, but it gets the point across. Yeah. Right. Okay. So four nodes, mm -hmm. wirelessly linked, right. and. Um, You also said that you could not only log to the PIC, but you can you can also log directly to your laptop, right, yes. through a serial link, right? So our Arduino Nano for the PIC connection has uh, two different serial ports. It uses one for writing to the PIC and the other for writing to this laptop. Oh, sorry, the Uno. Yeah, sorry. The Uno, that's for the main hub. Mm -hmm. um, and so basically on here, we have a kind of similar mocking system. So we have our general overview, which shows online modes. We have a thing for light to show whether our lights uh, are on or off. We have a temperature, and we also have a door status open and okay. closed. Uh, and yeah. Okay. Um, and yeah. So that removes the need for the TFT um, if you just wanted to have a. Sure. If you wanted, if you wanted a sort of a th throw it in the corner kind of system that right. goes off to the, the usual. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you.